Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you. No soy bien, no sé por qué estoy teniendo problemas con eso. Okay, guys. So, I have read that some of you guys have problems to connect it because you are on your way home, right? And they say they are going to stay as a listener for a while they can arrive their homes, right? So, for that reason, we are going to wait some minutes. Also, uh, remember that just we are one, two, three, four, and five connected. With me, we are six. So, we have to pass the list and then we have to wait some minutes for the other ones, right? So we are going to wait four minutes more and then we're going to start with the class, okay? <clears throat> Thank you guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Michael. Como estamos? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, yeah, about 20 minutes. I about uh -huh, 20 minutes I was eating melon on papaya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Yeah, 20 minutes ago. I'm sorry. Okay, watermelon and papaya. Yeah. That's great. That's great to eat some of fruit, right? And some yeah. fruit also, right? <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, somebody else wants to give an opinion, a comment, or wants to say something in English? Hello, Rachel. Hello. I see you a little bit relaxed, right? <laughs> relaxed. <laughs> I'm ready at home. <laughs> La miro un poquito relajada. Llegó temprano a casita. Sí, teacher. Gracias a Dios. Vine desde la justa. Ya le cambió el horario, Rachel. Es que una semana salgo a las 7 y la siguiente a las 6, así no tengo un solo horario. Ah, so you switch, se cambia. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto, pero qué bueno que ahorita estamos en la semana de, de un poquito más ah, relajado. Sí, <risa> sí va, y no, y no, ese tráfico está horrible. Es que por eso del Salvador del Mundo, teacher, como la gente ahí, agarrado de turista, ¿eh? <risa> De verdad. Todas las noches están ahí los carros, ahí este, parqueados, la gente, hasta ciertas horas de la noche ahí en, ese, en, ese, en el monumento, tomando fotos y como que si fuera de día. Y eso es lo que hace la gran tráfico. Y hoy todo, todo, el, todo el mes pasan así, ¿verdad? Ya no es porque hay fiesta ni nada de eso. Por no, el y no, desde que, desde que han hecho eso, ahí en esa fuente, ay, todo. Todos los días. De verdad. Wow. Yo no he pasado por ahí, la verdad, ahorita. No he visto nada de eso. Pero, pero, pero sí, está, está bonito, está bonito, pero. Ah, eso de es, o sea, no, no buses cuesta venirse porque, como esa gente que anda ahí, este, vienen en el micro y uno parado, ¿no? todos los días parados. Ay, no, qué terrible. Hello, hello, guys. Ay, no, Rachel, de veras que sí le toca bien pesado. Como que soy manita, vengo ahí. Sí, Ay, no. A mí me toca así el sábado, pero una, una mediodía. Y es terrible eso, ¿no? Sí. No, no quiero. <ríe> ok. Good night, dice Alex, chicos. Good night, everybody. Aunque es good evening, right? Good evening. <laughs> good night, for I have to say goodbye. <laughs> good evening. Bye, chicos. Miren, ahora sí, ya un minuto más y empezamos. Pero la mayoría, pues, ya vemos varios conectados. Quiero ver. Ah, vemos 14, ¿ok? I guess we can start right now. How was your weekend? Mire que ahorita ando como un dolorcito aquí. I don't know why, if it is at the beginning of this of the week, right? How was your weekend, guys? Tell me, tell me something. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? 
this uh, George and Nestor and this one, I have problems. Oh, I had trolls with my audio also, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you for noticing me. Somebody else? ¿Cómo les fue el fin de semana, chicos? ¿Qué hicieron? Cuénteme, did you rest? Did you go out with your family? Uh, and I go to my house to work. Hmm? And I leave my work at 7 p.m. both day. So it was hard. Okay, perfect. Good, excellent. Somebody else wants to share? What did you do on weekend? On the weekend? Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you go out to eat something with your family? Did you play something? On weekend, it was great for me because I have cleaned my house uh -huh. and, sh and shower my dog. Is correct? Okay. Shower. You what? Pardon? Shower my dog. Ah, you, you, okay. Yes, you show her your dog, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Did you? I go to river with my son. Okay. When I fish. So you went to the river with your son to fishing, right? Be fishing. Uh -huh. yeah. Pes or fish, right? Pescar, etc. Mm -hmm. Or pesca, right? Okay, perfect. Sounds good what you did, right? So, interesante y bien lo que usted hizo. Se pasó su fin de semana relax, right? That's right. And the most important, you pass time with your son. That's the most important, the family, okay? Thank you. Excellent, Michael. Somebody else wants to say something in English? Hello. Hello, Denise. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. What do you do on the weekend? Um, I celebrate my dad's birthday on Saturday. Okay. I had a party in my so house. So you had a party, okay? <laughs> Did you eat cake? <laughs> yeah. Yes, a lot of cake. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sounds good. Also, that's great to hear that because you have a great time with your family also, Denise. Yes. I did. Okay, thank you so much for sharing us. Okay, somebody else before I start with the class? No? Okay, bye. Qué bueno, entonces gracias por los comentarios. Me alegra que hayan pasado un fin de semana súper, súper chivo, ¿verdad? Que la pasaron en familia, que disfrutaron, que comieron, ¿verdad? Y pues que estamos aquí gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? Un nuevo día, una nueva jornada, y empecemos, chicos. Okay, I'm going to pass the list first because I don't want to forget it, okay? And I want to start with the class later. Um, Just give me some minutes because I'm going to open the list. But why the others are connecting, right? Vamos a ver, where are you guys? Ahorita, ahorita, chicos. Where we are? Just give me some seconds. Why no nos hay yo? Agasamos, agasamos. Okay, Ozzy. Okay, let's start. Alex and Ox Ramirez Salazar. Ana, Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you, Ana. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra Zuni Galdana. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. 
Predis Ricardo Landaverde. Jorge Alberto Laines Díaz. Thank you, George. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. I'm here. Thank you, Maritza. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Thank you, Morelia. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Okeli de Jesús de Mestica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Here. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Okay, guys, so let me tell you that today we are going to continue talking about past, okay? But as I told you before, we were just trying to speak in English. What do you do in, in English, right? About your weekend because the topic is past, okay? And what we are going to see right now. We are going to see how to make questions in simple past but using the auxiliary verb did because the previous class you remember that we were using the verb to be but in past today we are going to see how to make that questions but using the auxiliary verb did remember that there are those two kind of questions in past and also in present one of them is when we are going to use the verb to be as auxiliary and the other ones is where we are going to use the auxiliary verb did in past, in present, is do or does, okay? Do you remember that? We already see this topic, but we are going to try to make just a review about that in order to pass you another uh, lesson from the manual, okay? So, for that reason, I was asking you, right? What did you do on your weekend? So, with the purpose that you describe in past, what you made, what you did, right? during the weekend, right? In order to introduce a new topic that is questions in past, using did, right? Okay, let's just let me see the message, right? Well, Camino teacher, this is Kutivini teacher and classmate says, George Lainez Diaz. And Alex is a Kutivini classmate, George Ernesto, they say I have troubles with my audio, okay? Thank you for noticing me, guys. I'm going to have in, in a into a com. Ok, bueno, ahora vamos a empezar. Solo dame un ratito, voy a abrir el OneNote y ahorita empezamos, chicos. Ok, guys, remember that this is the last week, ok? Enjoy the last week, remember? that you're going to have rest, at least a week of resting, right? So that means you have to try to put your energy to learn something else, right? And have the class activities interactive, right? So for today, guys, we are October 9, 2023. And our topic for today is simple plus statements and questions, right? In general, let's talk about past in general. In general, the past tense is used to talk about something that it start, it started started in and finished at the definite time in the past. So it means it's an action that is started in the past and finished in the past, okay? So for that, things we have this table in which we're going to try to explain in which consists that part, okay? Remember that always we have positive statement, negative statement, and question statements, right? Or question mark but okay so let's see affirmative right we have the subject that is i you we there he she and it remember the rule that applies to most of the regular verbs in past okay most of the regular verbs in past we add ed at the end right but there are some verbs that end with e the ones that end with B, with E, we are going to just add E, D, right? For example, we have, I lived in London. She lived in Paris. He watches, he watches, watches, perdón, perdón, a movie. They wanted, 
They wanted a holiday, ¿ok? Como les dije, ¿verdad? La mayoría de las verbos que terminan en... La mayoría que se les, se les agrega ED, ¿verdad? Pero los que terminan en E solamente le vamos a agregar D. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, leave. Por ejemplo, bueno, en este caso, watch. No se le va a agregar solo la, la D, sino que ED. Igual el want. Son otras cosas, ¿verdad? Que aplican. Pero los que terminan en E y al solo solamente se les agrega D. Los demás se les agrega ED. ¿Ok? In the affirmative form. For the regular verse. Remember that exists irregular verse and they change totally the base form. So that means it's another pisto, como dice, right? Okay, there is only one form each verb in the past simple tense. Let's see negative form. In negative form, always we are going to use the auxiliary verb did, as I told you before. Okay, this is something that you already know, but we are going to touch it in brief. Okay, always to form the negative form, we are going to use the auxiliary verb did plus the word not. If you want, you can use the long form that is did not, or if you want, you can use contractions or abbreviations that in this case is didn't, right? For example, we have, I didn't speak. You didn't speak. We, we didn't speak. Or they didn't speak, right? She need, she didn't need a, ¿qué? a chocolate. She he didn't need a, a hamburger. It didn't need a, a bone, right? In this case, right? El perro no necesita un hueso, el perro necesita un hueso en forma positiva o forma negativa. Okay? Y eso es lo que nos dice, ¿verdad? Que en este caso no vamos a utilizar el to, ¿verdad? The base form of the infinitive verb is, is the, the verb that's it, right? No, we are going to use the preposition to to separate those verbs because we have we, we already have the auxiliary verb and in this case is did and the word not that is in the negative form. Also, the verb is not in the past tense in negative sentences. Because didn't absorb the past of the verb and it's not necessary to write it down in past, okay? Recordemos que las formas negativas, el verbo no va en pasado, sino que se mantiene en su forma base como presente porque tenemos el auxiliar did que absorbe el pasado, ¿verdad? En este caso, y ya no es necesario poner el verbo en pasado, sino que en presente. También vamos a obviar poner la, la preposición to porque no es necesario, ¿ok? It's not necessary, right? For example, we have, I lived in Spain. This is the positive. Let's see the negative. I didn't live in Spain. So if you see, the ED is omitted, right? He watched, he watched a movie. He didn't watch a movie. So if you see, is different because of the auxiliary verb didn't, right? So let's see the question. That is what we are going to focus today. In the question mark, always. I already repeat this a lot of times, right? But always the auxiliary verb is going to be at the beginning, okay? And the subject is going to be after the auxiliary verb. When we talk about interrogative forms. For example, we have, did I speak? Did you speak? Did we speak? Or did they speak? Did she live? Or did he need? Or did it live? Etc. 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 right? For example, in the affirmative form, we have, you live in Italy. In question form, we have, did you live in Italy? Did you live in Italy? Acá también se omite la ED del pasado porque ya tenemos el auxiliar did at the beginning, okay? Another example, she watched a movie. Did she watch a movie? Did she watch a movie? Yes, yeah, she did or no, she didn't. It depends, right? These are short answers. Yes, no question, right? Always. Remember that you are going to respond 
The questions with the auxiliary verb that belongs to it. Si es was, esto es decir, yes, I was, no, I wasn't, right? Si es con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Si no es con el verbo to be, es con el auxiliary did, siempre va a decir, yes, I did, o no, I didn't. Always you have to match the auxiliary verb with the answer that you're going to give, okay? Is clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Preguntitas hasta aquí. No. No. Okay, perfecto. Now we are going to see this video, okay? I'm going to send you the link to WhatsApp group and you are going to see the video. Okay? Then I'm going to ask some questions in pass, okay? Vaya. Voy a mandar el link del pequeño video, es cortito, no es largo, ¿ok? Se los voy a mandar, lo vamos a ver y luego vamos a empezar a hacer preguntas, ¿ok? ¿Les parece? Yes, teacher, no. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect, thank you. Espérense que voy a... Voy a mandar el link. Ay, pero se no me quiere abrir el WhatsApp. El WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Vamos, chicos. Vamos, chicos. Ahí está. Let's take a look at the video. A short video. And then we are going to talk about that video. Okay? Go ahead. Finished. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, what was the video about? Okay. ¿Quién me dice? Who wants to participate? Mitra. Okay, Maria Jose. Okay. She was confused because the ring uh, is in the floor, was in the floor. Uh -huh. So, when he down to pick up, uh -huh. he thought that he proposed to marry with him. Okay, she she thought that he proposed her that she, that they are going to get married, right? So and it was false or it was true? False. It was false. It was false, right? It was a little bit funny, right? <laughs> so because she thinks that and she she thought that and it was a mistake because the ring fell down, right? And he wants to pick it out. Okay, and she tells that, right? And what was the question that she, that he made or she made? Le dijo, una de ellas era cuáles? A ver, utilizando la auxiliar did. What did happen? I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember? What do you think? <laughs> did you propose her? 
that was one of one example, right? Did you propose for her? Le dijo el, el boyfriend, right? Imagino que es el boyfriend, right? Did you propose for her? No, Liz. I didn't, Liz. You did, Liz. Entonces, vemos las tres formas de la, del pasado. ¿verdad? Vemos preguntas con 10, vemos respuesta positiva y vemos respuesta negativa, ¿verdad? Por eso les decía, es un short video in which we are going to see some examples about the past tense using the auxiliary verb D. So in that way, we are going to use that form. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver. What we are going to do now, guys. After seeing the video, we are going to make a practice. But by the way, do you have some questions with, with this topic, guys, before I pass to the practice? No. No? no. Okay. Perfect. Third. Okay, vamos a ir entonces. Let's continue, guys. Vamos a ver. Okay, so I'm going to share the link and you are going to get in, right? Just take a look at the, the link. And we are going to start with the practice online. Just give me some minutes to share what you are going to find out. And I'm going to start. To explain the following. So, okay, perfect. So we are here. In this case, we are going to touch that just negative form with question forms, okay? Let's see. We are going to listen this audio and we are going to respond these questions. For example, order the words to make a questions in the simple past. Then listen to the next part of the quiz and check the correct answer to the question. First of all, we are going to order the questions, okay? Acá nos, nos han dejado la pregunta eh, desordenada. Ustedes tienen que reordenar la oración, la pre perdón, la pregunta y escribirla acá. Okay? After you have ordered the questions, you are going to click in the listening, you are going to hear the listening, and you are going to decide what is the best option here, if it is negative or if it is positive, okay? Here you have some uh, examples to, to remember how we are going to use this, okay? Como vamos a ocupar la estructura del did. Por cualquier cosa ahí lo tiene como recuerdo, right? Recordatorio y lo que usted debe seguir. Luego de eso, chicos, vamos a la parte número dos. Dice, complete the sentences with the correct forms of these verbs. Here you have some verbs in which you are going to use here. You are going to read these this sentences, okay? And you are going to use this verb and here in the spaces in blank, okay? Esto es acerca del mismo listening que tenemos acá, okay? Son preguntas relacionadas con el listening. Y así usted va a ocupar el verbo correcto, ¿verdad? Y la forma del verbo correcto, ya sea con dire, o sea, el pasado simple, Normal. Luego vamos a la parte número tres que dice complete the questions with the correct forms of the verb in brackets. Then answer them. So you have here an example how you are going to make this. Here you have the verb between brackets or parentheses and where you are going to use here. You are going to rewrite the, the question here using the correct forms of the verb. And if it is question, you already know that you are going to use an auxiliary verb, did, right? Y así sucesivamente, right? Hasta terminar, luego finalizamos y chequeamos, okay? It's clear? What you are going to do? Yes, okay. okay, perfect, go ahead.
Ok, vamos a ver, ¿qué es el próximo? Ok, dice María José. Ok, nine of ten, congratulations, María José. Thank you. You're welcome. We are going to wait the others, ok? Ok, because I have uh, questions about some answers that I have grown. Ok, perfect. Ok. Okay, vamos a ver who else. Okay, this is Maritza. Okay, Maritza, night of champ. Congratulations, Maritza. Also, Thanks. right? You're welcome. Somebody else? Hello, Freddy's. Good evening, Freddy's. Hello. <laughs> ¿Cómo está, Freddy's? I didn't hear you, Freddy's. Okay, guys, somebody else finish or do you need more time? Do you need more time? Or start with the check-in. Okay, vamos con Ale, Denise, please. Okay, Denise, eight of 10. Congratulations, Denise. That's good. That's great. No words, okay? Somebody else? Guys? Okay, let's check it in, right? Vamos a ver. Let's see. Okay, the first part is reorder the questions first, and then we are going to listening listen the listening right so what is the first forms of these questions remember the always with a form question form we are going to start with the auxiliary verb did right so in this case is did 
Did the Aztecas, the Aztecs, right? Did the Aztec, yes, 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 live in Peru? And we close the question, right? So, did the Aztecs live in Peru? Yes or no, guys? No, they didn't. No, they didn't, right? So after you reorder the questions, you are going to listen to this and you are going to decide if it is positive or if it is negative, right? So the second one, what is the order that we're going to follow? Always, right? Did the Aztec, did the Aztecs, right? Do, do I know check yeah aquí hay una question with wh word right entonces empieza con what did the Aztec. Aztecs right do with chocolate mm -hmm. do with chocolate muy bien did the Aztec what did the Aztec do with chocolate? They drank it or they ate it? They? They drank it. They drank it, right? No, they eat it, right? Okay, let's see number three. Okay, let's see number three. When, tenemos siempre una WH words, right? When did, when did Google go online? Google go online in 1988 or in 1990. Perdón, in 1988 or in 1998? Which of these answers is correct? In 1998. In 1998, okay, perfect. So let's see the, with the fourth one. Acá tenemos siempre una pregunta, lo cual vamos a empezar siempre con el auxiliar did, porque no tenemos una WH words, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos, vamos con mayúscula siempre. Did, did, Sir, Sir Wei Bring leave Russia in 1979. Sergey leave Russia in 1990. Right? <laughs> 19. In 1979. Okay, and we close the question with a question mark. Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Okay. Okay. Yes, he did. Okay, perfect. So let's see number five. Here we have a WH word. Where? So that means we are going to start with that. Okay. So let's see. Where? Where did Ada Lovelace? Lovelace Pro come from? Come from. Mm -hmm. He come from from England or USA? England. In England, right? Okay, perfect. So let's continue with the part number two. Here we have some verbs, right? In this case, we are going to write the correct forms of the verb. Could be positive, could be negative, 
about the listening that we already listened, by the way, right? For example, Thomas Edison, right? For example, tenemos el ejemplo, right? The Aztec didn't eat chocolate. <clears throat> they drank it. Thomas Edison, ¿qué? Didn't, right? If I no mistake, didn't Did invent the, mm -hmm, the, telephone. the telephone. He, he invented, invented uh -huh, the light bulb, right? Okay. Ahora vamos con el número dos. Ada Lovelace didn't come, right? Didn't come from USA. She came, came from England. Okay, let's see number three. Google what? Didn't go. Didn't. Didn't go online in 1988. It go. It went. Went. Pardon, went online in 1998. Eight. Okay. Number four. The Aztec, right? Didn't live. Didn't live in Mexico. They lived. In Peru, right? Yo la puse sincera y me salió mala. Yo también. De verdad. Eso tengo duda. They lived in Peru, ¿ok? O será al revés. Es que es al revés. Porque vivieron en México. Ah, sí es cierto. Y yo todavía me siento. Ok, didn't. Vamos a cambiar aquí. Didn't. Didn't live in Peru, they lived in Mexico, right? Okay, thank you so much. Sergey, bring. Teacher. Uh huh. I think didn't live, it has to be oh, in the. Yes, you're right. Oh, I no didn't no. erase this. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Sergey, bring. Bring, 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 bring. Leave Russia. Didn't, didn't. didn't Esta es negativa, ¿verdad? Porque no salió de Rusia en, en el 69, sino que hay que ver. En el 79. En el 79. So that means it's negative, right? So didn't leave, leave Russia in 1979. He lived, right? He lived Russia in 1979. So. Teacher, y el pasado de live no es no left. Ok, perdón, si sí es cierto, pero no me parece que era live. Ok, left. Sorry, but I'm distracted because my genius was making no, no, no. some, some distorted right now. Ok, so let's see. Thank you so much. Vamos con la siguiente. Vaya, en este caso, chicos, tenemos What TV programs did you watch? This is for you, right? When you were a child, I watch the field store, right? So in this case, you have between parentheses the word that you are going to use in this case. So in this case, we are going to use the auxiliary verb did and also the verb that you have between parentheses. Remember that when we are talking about a question forms, we are going to use the auxiliary verb did, but the verb is going to be as the base form, right? It doesn't change. Okay, so after that, you are going to rewrite the sentences, right? In this case, let's see. Oh, no, you are going to answer them in this case. So let's see. In this case, where did you go on holidays last year? Where did you go? When you were a child, right? I went, you can say I went to what? Algún lugar donde hayan ido, chicos? Or it can be I went to meet new places. I went to meet 
Yes, I want to meet new places, right? Let's see, new places. What kind of food eat you eat? What kind of food did you eat when you were a child? I ate what? I ate pizza, I ate chocolate. What do you prefer? Pizza, hamburger? Pizza, okay, pizza. I, ate, I ate pizza, okay, let's see. I was read. What books did you read? What books did you read last year? I read, I read, in this case, where it doesn't change the forms of the verb, but the pronunciation changed. Read, read, okay? I read what? A name Amor of the book? Jade. Come on. Amor de Jade. Amor de Jade. Retrato en sangre. <laughs> Santo. <laughs> Qué nombre más interesante. <laughs> okay? Perfect. Como retrato de sangre, dijiste. Sí, sí. Okay, perfect. Good. <laughs> That's the name, okay? I don't say anything about that. Okay, what music did you listen? Listen to when you were a teenager. I listen and rock. Rock. Rock music, right? I listen to rock music. What TV program, series, or movie did you did you watch? Mm -hmm. Last weekend. Um, I cartoons. watch it. I Bad watch. Boys. Okay, Batman. Okay, watch, watch. Como the cartoons, yeah, mm. Yep. Cartoons and Batman, right? Batman, Batman, Bat, Bat, Bat. Así es, verdad? No de bache, right? Bat. Disney Channel. Batman and Disney Channel, right? I'm up there. Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Okay, perfect. Vamos a ver. Let's see. If I no mistake, go ahead. Go, 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 go. Right, ahí está, miren. Aquí me equivoqué, right? Didn't. Ah, me faltó una de. Okay. Me faltó una de, por eso es que salió malita. Santo Dios. And this is, it's not okay, guys. We made mistakes in that, right? Es por Google. Es por, ¿por qué? Por la palabra Google. Es good. Ah, así es que le puse Google, right? Exacto. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the third case. No le puso Brin. Brin. ¿Cómo? Sergio Brin. En la ah, cuatro. ok, perfect. <laughs> ok, perfect. But you already know where are the mistake, right? So, pero me saqué 8 o 10. <laughs> Nos sacamos, mejor dicho. <laughs> ok, perfect. Thank you so much. Vale, las últimas eran personales, right? Era que ustedes iban a, pues, a contestar acerca de sus cosas, ¿verdad? No era cuestión de, de listening. La segunda sí, y las primeras, ¿ok? Era acerca de listening. ¿Le entendieron al listening? ¿No tuvieron problemas con listening? No, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Thank you so much. Bueno, niños. Ok, esa es la forma como vamos a trabajar con el did, la forma afirmativa y la forma negativa. Ahora vamos con lo siguiente. Ese sí es para usted. Este es cortita y ese va a abarcar las tres formas del, del pasado simple using the auxiliary verb did, ¿ok? Esa es la última, muy corta, y luego vamos con lo siguiente, ¿ok? Vamos con el manual. Solamente esta, ¿ok? Porque el, la positive no la ocupamos tanto en la otra, ¿verdad? Esto no le va a costar, pero ni 10 minutos. ¿Ok? Ya les muestro. 
Okay, she and the, right? You are going to complete the sentences with the correct forms of the verb in simple past. Tense, affirmative, negative, and question form. Acá les dan una tablita para que usted pueda ver, ¿verdad? Cada una de las estructuras de, de la afirmativa, la negativa y la interrogativa. Y eso es todo el ejercicio. Es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 preguntitas donde usted va a llenar con el, con el verbo que tiene entre paréntesis. Acá si es negativo, tiene una, la palabra not, right? O no. Y acá tiene el, el verbo en positivo. Si es positivo, solo lo va a escribir, ¿verdad? Utilizando eh, la forma correcta del verbo. Y eso es todo. Okay, it will finish with the practice online and then we're going to pass to Emmanuel. Go ahead. Vamos a ver, Edith. Okay, Edith, thank you so much. Okay, excelente, Victoria. Thank you so much. Edith, also. Nancy, also. Congratulations, guy. And also Denise, right? Ya me dio risa. Un codo. Ay, no. That's happening, guys. <laughs> okay, Maritza, 10 of 10. Look at this. It's easy, right? Thank you. Congratulations. I, thank you. <laughs> Okay, Ale. Denise, 10 of 10. Congratulations, Denise. Thank you. You're welcome. George, okay, 10 of 10. Congratulations. Dice María, María José, excelente. Night of 10, congratulations, María José. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, Victoria, vamos a ver. 10 of 10, congratulations, Victoria. Ok, bye. Vamos a ver, entonces vamos a pasar ahorita, chicos. Oh, vamos, bueno, vamos a responder, ok. Let's see. Alexis, vamos a ver Alexis, 10 of 10, congratulations Alexis. But in this case, it went, right? Because of the past. We have a positive sentence. It's you didn't, 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 didn't. You didn't play, right? Okay, vamos a ver, they didn't, right? They didn't listen, right? Vamos a ver, my family and I 
hot. Okay, had the turbo cold last week, right, Sammy? So, right? Yeah, the moons did. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see the other one. Did you go to the hospital? Yes, I did, right? Yes, I do. Remember that you are going to use the auxiliary verb did. The answer is going to have the auxiliary verb did. Could be in positive, could be in negative, right? This is another question. You are going to start with did, right? And also we are going to answer with did. In this case, it was negative, but the, the, the answer is already given. My mom gave, we, are or we were in this case so happy yesterday right you're going to check it in like this and you're going to get your grace right okay perfect vamos a ver okay look at this this is all what you are going to do now ahora vamos a lo siguiente vamos a ver lo del manual nos quedamos en la página we were on page 42 if i not mistake right Guys, <clears throat> let me check because you did, didn't you didn't open this, and I'm going to refresh. Page forty-two. Yes, page forty-two. Thank you so much, Victoria. Vamos a ver, we are Bueno, nos quedamos en esta, ¿verdad? Ah, no, esta ya la pasamos. Esta también. Esta es la 42, la 40. Ok, la 42. How to use the verb be in the past? Yes, no question. This is a structure that we were studying the last week. Do you remember that? So what we are going to do? Always remember that we are going to make questions with Auxiliary verb B, we are going to place the auxiliary verb at the beginning of the questions. Always if it is a question, but if it is, if it is not a question, you are going to place it after the subject, okay? What's the training is interesting? Were all the employees at the conference? Yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Yes, they were, or no, they weren't. So what we are going to do now, guys, after you know, after you study the structure of the verb to be in past, right? Talking about questions, you are going to read the following services with a right questions to evaluate them using simple past and past of the B. Then ask the questions to the classmate. Okay, so we are going to use both, right? We are going to use simple past and past of B. Quiere decir que vamos a utilizar el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Su forma normal puede ser que un verbo, ¿verdad? La forma positiva. Y puede ser que ocupemos la, el auxiliar did también, ¿verdad? Depende de lo que estemos haciendo. Pero también vamos a ocupar el pasado del verbo to be, que en este caso es was el were. Ok, so what we are going to do now. So you are going to read these two services, right? And then you are going to evaluate them. You're going to write questions to evaluate them using the past and the past B. For example, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at spare. ES. The price was three, $300. The brand was really well. The customer service was great because as we serve, we received all the information we needed, right? So what we are going to do now, now we are going to write some questions about this, okay? To evaluate this product, okay? Did you get it? Yes. No. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. Vaya, este, vamos a leer acá los dos y luego de eso, 
Vamos a hacer preguntas utilizando el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Y el pasado simple del, del verbo to be, que en este caso es was and where. Vamos a hacer preguntas para evaluar este servicio, ¿verdad? Que dieron. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, compró desde la parte de la, ¿de qué? De la impresora y el precio era de 300 dólares, ¿verdad? La marca era esta y el, ¿qué? El cliente, ¿verdad? Eh, este servicio estuvo genial porque recibimos toda la información que nosotros necesitábamos, ¿ok? Entonces, acerca de, después de haber leído eso, de haber visto el caso, así usted va a hacer preguntas acerca del servicio. It was the service good or not? Or did you receive the product in, in good conditions? Puede ser otro ejemplo, ¿verdad? The price was acceptable or not? Did you see? Okay. Y eso sucesivamente puede ser más, pero siempre utilizando el verbo to be en pasado o el auxiliar did en pasado. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Por ejemplo, did you get the product on time? ¿Recibiste el producto a tiempo? Uh -huh. Did you have delivery? ¿Tuviste este servicio a domicilio? Puede ser otra. Entonces, de esa manera es como vamos a hacer las preguntas. De cada uno de estos dos casos. ¿Ok? Puede ser con el was, el where, o puede ser con did. O puede utilizar también WH words, como la, veimos, la vimos en la, en la practice online que teníamos allá. ¿Ok?
Finish. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Somebody else. ¿Cuántas preguntas podemos hacer, Ticha? Son siete, Maritza, por cada uno de los párrafos. Por ejemplo, uno, dos, tres, cuatro de este y igual, ¿verdad? Siete de este. 
siempre utilizando el did, si usted gusta, o el was. Depende de la pregunta que usted va a hacer. Ok. Ok, thank you.
you have some questions. Ok, guys, ¿cómo van? If you want, we can make it together, guys. Just add it one of your sentences and we are going to complete the, the activity, ok? 
Yeah, teacher. Okay, you are almost finished, guys. Finish. Okay, thank you so much, Marisa. Marisa and Veronica already finished. Who else, guys? I finished too. Finish, okay. teacher. Thank you, excellent, guys. Thank you for noticing me <laughs> because I was worried because you 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 didn't say anything right. I say I almost fucked up. Okay, so let's see. Volunteers, who will tell me the first one? In the first paragraph, what are the questions or what are the possible questions that you can apply to that paragraph or to that case? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, Bruno. Thank you so much. When did you buy the parts? Excellent. When did you buy the parts? Okay, perfect. So, number two, Denise? Yes. Uh, was the service good? Was the service good? Okay, excellent. Maritza, number three. Did you try the printer? Did you try the printer? Okay, excellent, Maritza. Who else? Veronica, number number four. Um, what was the brand brand you bought? What was the brand you bought? You bought. Okay, perfect, excellent, thank you so much. Somebody else? Okay, okay, Michael. And then we're going to continue with the girl, okay? Michael. What is the price? Ah, what was the price? Okay, excellent. Okay. What was the price? Okay, next. How much do you pay for the parts? How much do you pay for the part? Okay, perfect. So this is the paragraph number one. What could what what could be the next one? Okay. ¿Cuáles serán las, las que podrían cuáles son las que podrían aplicar para el próximo? Hablando de the rich part, right? O son las mismas que ah, pero es que spare part. No, it's a different. It's different, right? We were requested yeah. the price was 30 and each day we were installed a sewing machine. Ah, okay. So this is a sewing machine and this is a printer. Okay, go ahead with the sewing machine. What are okay, the possible uh, questions? When did you buy the printer? No, this is the first. Yes. Was the machine work properly? What's the machine work properly? work properly okay okay when did you buy this swimming machine parts okay when did you buy the sewing machine parts uh-huh how would much be, did it cost uh-huh how much was the cost or how much it cost did did it cost did it right cost. did it cost, did it cost. Muy bien. Yes. somebody else did you receive on time did you receive it on time? Muy bien, excelente. Ana, let's see the when next one. You, when did you buy the parts? When do you buy oh. it? When do you buy the parts? Muy bien, excelente. Somebody else? Me. Did you okay. like this when machine look at? What? No te escucho bien. Did you like how the set seven machine look at? Okay, did you like? How the how the sewing machine uh, look at right? Look at uh huh uh huh. Como Lucia, right? Okay, perfect. So next, who else? What month did you buy it? Okay, in which month did you buy it? In cuál mes lo compraste? Recuerden que son opciones: enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio. Okay. O qué mes en qué mes tú la compraste? Okay, perfect. Go ahead. La última, chicos. Did you buy something else? Did you buy something else? Okay, perfect. So that's the way you are going to apply that. Okay, congratulations to all of you guys. Bye. Entonces, chicos, after that, so we are going to continue with this. These are some questions. Let's start, say, in which we are going to answer these questions. Where do trainings take place in your company? Who are the eligible people to go to training at your workplace? 
So where do the training takes place in your company? Don't ask in Australians. It is into the company, in the company, out of the company, right? Or is it in another place? It's maybe a hotel, something else? Company. In the company, right? In your case. And the other ones? Online, teacher. Online, muy bien. This is another option. Who else? Training room. A training room. Okay, muy bien. Another answer, possible answer. Have you ever received a training in a, ho in a hotel? Some of you guys have received a training in a hotel or a ho at a hotel. Nobody. I case no. No. Me, me a workshop? Any workshop? No. Okay, perfect. So this is a bit strange. <laughs> Son codos, ya. <laughs> no ustedes, okay? Sino que la, los que dan el training, right? <laughs> the company, right? <laughs> a little bit like this, right? <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Who are the eligible people to go to training at your workplace? What do you think? ¿Quiénes son las personas elegidas para ir o elegibles para ir a training en su compañía? Maybe new employees. Maybe new employees. Muy bien, Denise. Excelente. Somebody else? Uh, maybe, maybe the boss teacher. Uh, also the boss. Also, can, they can receive a training and then he or she is going to communicate it to you, right? Or going to pass it to you, right? Or maybe the supervisors, right, can receive yes. the training and then pass the information to you guys. Okay. It depends about capacities. Excellent. Also, it depends about the capacity. Also, this is an important point. Thank you so much, Michael. You're right. Somebody else wants to get give opinions. Guys, all employees, all employees, also right. All employees can receive a training when they are starting a workplace. Also, this is another option. You're right, Freddy's. So mm -hmm. let's see. Now we are going to read these short conversations always, right? To get the new vocabulary words and what we are going to talk about. He said, Mr. Lewis, okay, who will start reading the, the conversation? I need two volunteers, please. Teacher. Muy teacher. Okay, perfect. Puede ampliar la pantalla. No, no veo. Y no tengo la hoja. Thank you. No worries. I stand. Go ahead. Hi, Eric. How was it going? Hi. Mr. Lewis and Eric. Ready. You're welcome. Hi, okay. Okay. Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? I worked excellent. The speaker and look of experience and he was very noble. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did, and he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, all right? Well, he was some minutes late, and we left very late. Okay, excellent. Somebody else who wants to read the short paragraph or the short conversations in this case? Me, teacher. Okay, Michael, who else? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, Denise. Go ahead. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very 
knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of topics he talked about? Yes, he, he did. About? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, perfect. Congratulations, guys. Vaya, the conversation is about what? What is the conversation about? Como estuvo la capacitación. Uh -huh. They are talking about how was the capacitation. The capacitation, the workshop, training. Fine. or the training, right? Training. Okay. And what was what was bad? What was wrong there? ¿Qué estuvo mal ahí? ¿O qué estuvo aquí? ¿Qué hubo ahí? ¿Qué problemas hubo? Teacher, what is uh, knowledge table? Con el conocimiento, right? Oh, como okay. muy, en, muy, este, como diría. Entretenido. Ajá, o sea que es, hubo mucha información que te sirve para tu conocimiento. Eso quiere decir knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, ok. Knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Entonces es como que muy, ah, muy este, se me dio la palabra. Como enriquecedor. Eso, enriquecedor. Como experta. Uh -huh. That's the way. Como muy aprovechable, ¿verdad? Para su conocimiento. Something like this, right? Ok. So, ¿qué estuvo, qué estuvo ahí? ¿Qué, ¿Qué problemita tuvieron acerca del, del training? A ver. The speaker uh, uh, arrived a little mm -hmm. bit of late. Uh -huh. The speaker arrived late. For that reason, they finish mm -hmm. very late. Late. Okay, late. that was the problem. Okay, perfect. So the other, the other things were good, right? So let's see. Get in person, discuss the following question. What kind of events did Eric attend? Speak a lot of topics. Use computer. What kind of event did Eric attend? Uh, and use computer to provide. By it was a uh, training. Uh -huh, it was a training. training. Okay. What kind of event did Eric attend? ¿Qué clase de evento asistió okay, Eric? Training. Uh -huh, a training. Muy bien, excelente. Training. Number two. What did the speaker use to provide examples? What did the speaker use to provide examples? Use computer. Uh -huh, he computer. used com a computer, computer right? Okay. Let's see number three. What did Eric not like about the event? Or didn't like? Eric. Be because he was some minutes late. Uh huh. Yeah. They finish very late because the speaker arrived late, so minutes yeah. late. So that was the problem, right? Okay. Thank you so much. You see, you have you have pay attention to the conversation. That's the way. Okay. How to use simple past yes no question. This is the structure that we were studying previously at the beginning of the of the class. Remember the structure that we are going to follow when we are going to use the auxiliary verb did. We have did plus subject plus verb plus the complement plus the question mark in this case, right? So did the speaker use a computer in the speech? This is an example. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? So we have the structure apply here. The auxiliary verb plus the subject that in this case is the speaker, right? Plus the main verb in the base form that is used and a computer in the speech is the complement. Plus the question mark, so that's apply. And the possible answer is yes, he did, or no, he did it, right? Did the listener ask questions? Yes, they did, or no, they did it, right? Did. So what we're going to do now, you already know the structure, you already know how to use the auxiliary verb did. 
In this case, we are going to write samples past questions using the verbs and pronouns in the parentheses. We are going to take turns asking the questions you wrote to your classmates. So what we're going to do now, we're going to write with this. This is a uh, working pairs, okay? But, okay, sí, creo que estamos bien. Creo que sí lo terminamos. Okay, we are, we are going to get in pairs and we are going to complete the questions here with the, with the verb that we have here and also the personal pronouns that you have here. And then you are going to make questions to, look to your partner and your partner is going to answer to you using the, the form that we have here. For example, yes. You did or no, you did it, right? Y así sucesivamente, dependiendo del personal pronoun, así va a ser la respuesta que van a dar, ¿ok? Pero primero vamos a completar las preguntas con la información que tenemos entre paréntesis, ¿ok? Go ahead. Lo puedo poner pareja para que terminemos más rápido, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Tenemos okay. 18, 17, ¿ok? Perfect. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así lo vamos a hacer. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Vamos, chicos. Almost finished. Okay, I know that today is Monday, and I and I know what happened Mondays. Okay, <laughs> but we have to work in that. Go ahead. Vamos, chicos, entremos, chicos. Entre más rápido terminemos, más rápido lo despachamos, ¿ok? Jorge Ernesto, vamos a ver. Morelia, entremos, Morelia. Jorge Ernesto is waiting for you. Morelia. Vamos a mover a sala 4. George, Ernesto, te movías a la cuatro. Please, thank you so much. Vamos a ver, Denise, la vamos a mover a sala ocho. Denise, la movías a la ocho, please. Vámonos. Thank you so much.
¿Cómo van, chicos? ¿Finish? Guys. Yes, teacher. Yo, ay, yo, yo los oigo como que ya se estaban durmiendo. Yes, teacher. Sí, sí yo sé que es lunes, right? I know that is right. That is, that is why the body knows, right? Ay, no. Vaya, lo voy a sacar ya porque ya es tiempo, ¿ok? Ya lo voy a mandar a la camita mejor. Mañana seguimos. Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you. Vaya, lo voy a sacar a todos. Ok, guys. Vaya, vamos a seguir el día de mañana, chicos. I know that today is Monday and I feel the energy is like this. And also because it's time to go to bed, okay? So, for that reason, I'm going to stop here and we are going to continue tomorrow, okay? No worries. So, I wish you a nice, nice dreams and have a nice night, right? Also, okay? Bye-bye and take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Nice to meet you. Good night. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a nice rest. Yeah. Oh, nice rest. I know that you are tired, guys. I see you. <laughs> like chinitos, right? <laughs> A Freddy, a chinito, Freddy, por... Yo sé, no, teacher. <laughs> and Veronica also was like this, right? <laughs> I know that you are tired, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And good night, everybody. I see you tomorrow. Have a nice rest. Bye-bye. Good night, Rachel. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye. Mamá dormir. Good night, baby. Good night, dear. <laughs> Good night, bitch. Good night. Have a nice rest, Rachel. Let's see you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>